my name is Patty and welcome to my YouTube channel. I tend to post mommy, cleaning, decor, lifestyle type of videos, so if you're into that, just keep watching. And today, we are in my laundry room. So, I have a new product that I am so excited to try. So, I have my friends here on YouTube, Courtney and Yesenia. I love their YouTube channel. Awesome. They post a lot of great cleaning motivation. So, they had suggested this product to me. So, this is the Method Stain Remover for their clothes. They say it's awesome. Gets out all the stains. And so, you know, I'm a big fan of the Dapple Stain Remover. I actually have it right here, too. So, I'm a huge fan of this Dapple Stain Remover. But like I've said in countless videos, it's kind of hard to find. So, and this I found, like, so easy at Target. I don't know how I missed it all this time. So, today I'm going to test it out on Loki's clothes. So, that's the true test because she's got food on literally everything. So, the only things I don't kind of spot treat, even with, like, the Dapple stuff, is, like, her PJs. Sometimes, like, certain clothes that I don't really care as much. It's mostly just, like, her everyday, like, play clothes, nice clothes, that kind of stuff. But, like, bibs, mm -mm, forget it. I don't got time for that. So, let's get into Lowe's laundry. There was a lot of it. So I got this big laundry basket full of Loki's clothes. So I'm just going to go through and pick out all the stuff that has to get stain removed. I'm just going to stick up the top of here and then everything else is just going to get thrown in here first. That's how I typically like to do it. I think it's easier because then I'm not like stopping and starting with the stain removing. I can't believe I have a science to this, but I do. So let's do that first. All of these clothes need to get treated with some form of stain remover. So let's tackle all of this. Okay, I'm definitely not going to use this on all of them because some of them are just like a quick, but I think something like this where it's like a true stain, maybe this will work better for that, I like really lifting the stuff out. So I think for stuff where it's like real like stains, like hardcore stains like this, I think I'll we'll use the method remover. Otherwise, I think a couple of these things I still might spray with the other stuff just so it goes a little faster because let's be honest, this will take a while and this mama is lazy. I always just spray with the dapple stuff and just let it rock. Like I don't like zhuzh any of it together. I just spray and go spray and go. But this would probably be really good around like edges like this because these are like things that are hard to really reach. I can definitely see how it would come in handy because you can really like scratch at these stains easier than you would be able to just like back and forth that you normally would.
outside. The freaking heater is so loud right now. I'll just scream a little louder. I really liked this, like the brush head of this part for the collars of things and like for like the sleeves because those are things that are really hard to kind of like get at. Like yes, I can like spray with this, but I'm like, it really doesn't like do the job fully. So I'm really hoping this will be good for that stuff. So I think like these two are going to be a good mix as long as this gets the same job. But I will come back and we will find out. So I've also been testing out a new laundry detergent. This is the, I am say it's Ecos. That's what I'm thinking, E-C-O-S. Ecos laundry detergent. I've been using this and I really like it so far. And it's almost making me second guess the method laundry detergent because actually you barely use anything. And remember, that was the gripe I had with the method one. So I could be revisiting that in the future, you never know. But so far I'm enjoying this and it's massive and it's actually a good price. So yes, I'm going to put this in and start the laundry. And I will come back after everything is dried and kind of show you the final product, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and I will give my full reviews then. Okay, so I just put everything in the dryer and I will come back to you once everything's dry and I will tell you all my thoughts then. So, yes. See what a few. really good job there's still a little bit at the top here but it could have been how bad I was scrubbing it or not scrubbing it the top of this one looks pretty good as well let's see this one looks pretty good as well the slightest bit you can barely even tell this turned out really good as well let me fix it the gap on here came out but that gap came out really well. It's not coming off nice on camera. Look at that. No stain on the uh, the white here. This is pretty good too. I probably should have scrubbed a little bit more up there. Same thing with this one. Like it looks really good. But I probably could have scrubbed a little bit more. And that's just something that, as I guess I use it more. All of them are looking good. Let's check out these white pants. These white pants look like brand new. And this last shirt. Yeah, also looking really good as well. Okay, so my final thoughts are I really like the product. I think I'm going to still use the Dapple one, like, depending on the stain, I think they're both good to have. Like, there's both, like, plus and minuses to the both of them, and I think, especially for Lowe's clothing, awesome. There was spots that I probably could have rubbed a little bit more or maybe let it set a little longer, but I was just trying to rush through and get it done because her clothing takes forever. There's always so much and so many stains, so I give it a thumbs up. I really like it. I will definitely continue to use it. There's, I think, another spot remover that I want to try out as well. The Drept one is looking a little different, like the bottle, so I want to know if they changed the formula or if it's just the packaging, because if they change the formula, I'll probably try that one again, because you all know I hated that one. I think this was a major success. I really liked it. I think I used a lot of it in some spots. Like, there's definitely a technique to using it, which is going to take a little time, but... Yeah, I definitely recommend that product. Oh, and then a quick update. I didn't use them in this load because I forgot them upstairs, but I bought dryer balls. I only have two, so sometimes they get stuck in, like, clothing, so I do need to buy more. 
but I'm liking them because I know a lot of other people have recommended to me in the past to use dryer balls. I use them for the purpose of just breaking up the laundry in the load, but I know other people use them more as like a their version of a fabric softener, but I just use them because I really think it helps, you know, break up the clothing in there and not have like so many wet spots. So little update on those. I will probably do more talking about that and all these newer laundry products in future cleaning videos. But thank you for watching. If you've made it to the end, I'm always say I'm extremely chatty. Sorry about that. But I just like to give my full, complete, honest opinion. So Thank you again for watching.